The day has finally arrived. I mean, but now you saw me pull the the shiny Charizard. So technically, the day already came, and this is the, the next day essentially. I got my case. My case of Elite Trainer boxes are finally here, and I'm gonna go ahead and open two. I think I'll do like two per video. That way, I'm not like you know. Uh, Making this too crazy long on top of that, I can do like daily content. Not daily content, but more frequent content. Let's just call it that. And so we pulled the Hyper Rare Charizard. I also got to say, I did kind of go overboard and I ended up buying um, a lot of loose packs as well. So I, over the course of the next week, I, I should be getting another like 100 packs uh, on top of a couple more boxes, I want to say. Now, once I go through all the loose packs, first one is trash, nothing out of there. Once I go through all the loose packs, I'm probably going to be, I'll either slow down. Or I will probably get more. It all depends. Because the thing is, like I said, uh, the, the Charizard, the, the shiny Charizard, I should say, is uh, not in the best shape. Just because I've seen a lot of centering issues. And honestly, even though mine was pretty beautiful, I'll be real with you. I don't think it's going to hit a 10. And ultimately, I, what I want is a 10 for my collection. Awesome. And if I can get that, great. If not, well, we, we keep going. We keep going until we have what we want. So, yeah. But in the meantime, we're going to be putting on some content, which I guess is good for you guys. Because, you know, I'm back and be more active on this channel. On top of that, I just got this itch to open more packs. Speaking of itch, I actually just bought some more vintage packs. And it's an expensive month. It's funny. I was the type of person that says, I'm not going to buy any more product. And then I end up doing it. Ah, Incineroar V. You know what? We'll put you in the back. At least it's something better, better than just a regular holographic card. So that's nice. Put these over here. Okay, let's get into the next one. Now, you know what I like about, about Pokemon right now is the fandom has been growing so much. And this is actually kind of a controversial topic, to be honest, because a lot of times I feel like people get upset when new people enter any kind of fandom. It's like, oh, you're only into this now because it's popular or because X, Y, and Z. In this situation, I feel like a lot of people are entering Pokemon because uh, they can make money off of it. I personally don't care. I feel like if you're entering Pokemon because you want to uh, make money, you're, you're still enjoying the... The thing that Pokemon gives you, whether it is the nostalgic factor of, you know, opening Pokemon cards or collecting it, or you're just into really, really collecting and you just happen to be interested because the values are going up. I don't care. I'm personally always been a top person. It's always like, I don't care if, you know, if, uh, if you came into the fandom just because of like things that happened recently, as long as more people are enjoying Pokemon, I think that's great. I think that's fantastic. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm all for it. I want anybody out there. Who's thinking about entering any kind of fandom, whether it be Pokemon or, you know, specifically stuff in, like, different games. Do it. Just do it. And who cares what anyone says about that? You know, a lot of people have been asking me recently about, like, what do you think about Logan Paul entering it? And, bro, I can tell you right now, Logan's actually very, very, despite his uh, shaky past, I think, you know, anybody can learn. And he's definitely grown as a person, which is something I'm always going to respect. Um, you can tell the way he talks about Pokemon on his podcast or just in the clips that people have been sending to me. That's pure passion right there. It's 100% pure passion. You can't fake that. And uh, even if he is only in it for money, who still cares? You know, he's enjoying the product and having fun, and I think that's great. You know, the more eyes on something like this, the better. I don't know, that's just me. I want to kind of toss it out there because a lot of people have been asking me lately, like, how do I feel about, um, you know, how the, the price boom has been going on, people entering the fandom. And I'm like, hey, man, if you like it, I'm all for it. Go for it, you know. I When I got back into Pokemon back in 2016, I was heavily welcome for, for it, and I, and I loved it, you know. It wasn't a single person that was like, oh, he's only doing this for YouTube content, yada, yada, yada. It was great, you know, and I'm, I'm never going to be that person for others, you know, in the future. Again, even if you are into Pokemon just because you want to turn into a business, go for it. Again, the more eyes on this stuff, the better. And that's just me personally, I don't know. I'm asking you guys the same question. How do you guys feel about the fandom just growing a lot for for the TCG in the last couple of months um, with influencers hopping into it and stuff like that? Let me know your thoughts down below. And, uh, and yeah. Like I said, I, I love it. I, I love seeing people get so excited about it. And, you know, I've seen a couple clips for Logan Paul specifically. Like, he opened uh, that base pack on, on his podcast recently and pulled a blast. Off. That was pure joy right there. That's what it's all about. You open those packs, you get that card that you're looking for, something that's hype. And it's just like no feeling can capture that same, like, emotion and energy. Well, there's other things that can. But specifically for Pokemon TCG or just open packs in general, that moment is just so hype and special when it happens. So, yeah. That's how I feel about that to those who've been wondering. But yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Nothing. Just another Altaria. Okay, let's put this over here. By the way, um, I've been showing most of those codes. Uh, there, there are some codes I'm going to give to my friends. So if you can claim that, great. If it's already been claimed, either somebody else snagged it or I might have sent it to my friends. But I have a couple friends who've been playing TCG lately. And uh, I told them I was going to give them some codes. So I guess I probably shouldn't show you the rest. You know what? I think I'll just not show you the rest. How about that? Or I'll show you every other code. That way you guys are getting something and then I can give some to my friends. We'll do that. We'll do that. Hope you guys are okay with that, you know. Uh, let's see what we got on this one. 
Ah, I'll creamy. I'll, I'll cream. Is, uh, say that right? I'll creamy full art. This is actually a good card. This is a weird card to me because it's literally just a giant uh, birthday cake. But uh, I'm gonna show you the code. But it's 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 apparently a good. You know what does it do? What does it do? Let's see what this does. I am curious. Let's see. First and foremost, 3 out of 10 HP, so that's uh, pretty standard for a v v VMAX card, Dynamax. For each of your bench Pokemon, search your deck for an energy card, attach to that Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. So I guess it's pretty good. Uh, and then GMAX Whisk is discard any amount of energy from your Pokemon. This is how it does 60 damage for each card you discarded. That sounds like you can do some heavy damage. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sleeve that up, actually, because uh, even though it's not what I'm looking for, it's still a pretty rare card. You want to you know, you want, you want to protect it. I'm gonna protect it. I have my sleeves ready, of course. There you go. Okay. The only thing that's wor has me worried about Pokemon going back to the topic is I feel like there's some things that uh, is going so crazy out of reach. You know, uh, I mean, I spent a lot, for example, on the, on the hobby over the course of the last couple of years, but I feel like I've officially bought my last set of first edition base set packs. You know, I bought a couple when Rev did his opening. I did. Uh, I bought a couple prior to that. But I currently, I'm in possession of four packs right now, and I feel like I will never get a chance to buy Mortis again because they, they're to the point where they're way too expensive. I'm just glad I got to experience it when I did because, you know, opening a, a first step pack just feels so special. Ah, just as I got. I love the, I love the holographic energy. So, you know what? Let's put you in the back. I, I had a hollow, um, yeah, here's a code, by the way. I had a hollow water energy when I pulled my Charizard the other day, so I feel like that's my good luck charm. So I'm going to keep you in the background for the rest of the video. All right, second stash. Let's pop into this. I'm trying to figure out how to do uh, the openings for Champions Pass so I don't overdo it. Because the one thing that I messed up on with Hidden Fates, and probably also why I stopped uploading for so long on this channel, is I did I opened so many packs to the point where I got really, really like uh, overwhelmed and annoyed. I'm like, ah, I really don't want to keep uploading the same kind of content and uploading, you know, and just kind of overdoing it. And I'm trying to avoid that for uh, for this. Let's put this over here. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But then again, if you guys enjoy the content, even with just me rambling for about 10, 15 minutes to open packs, then I guess I can keep doing that. You know, send me the feedback. What it is about openings that you guys like to see, and I'll do my best um, to deliver that kind of stuff. I mean, mostly I'm just trying to, you know, record my reactions. So when a Charizard pops up or something hype pops up, you know, I capture it for myself. So I kind of like, I had this channel for myself as well on top of people that want to like watch the journey of pulling something like this. Zygarde. Okay. Did I already show you a code? Here's a code. So remember to skip the next one. Next one goes to me. Let's put this over here to that pile. Okay. I also got to make sure, as I mentioned in my last video, I got to get all my bulk over there. I have so much bulk, it's to a point where it's starting to flood my office, and I got to figure out what to do with it. So I don't like, you know, um, overdo it, and then I have to figure out how to send it off because I don't have enough space in the box and stuff like that. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Machop, Roly Coley, Car Carvana, Reverse, and then I'm a champ. Uh, I'm saving this code. I showed you the last one. Put you over here. Okay. Uh, the thing about Hidden Fates, though, I said this in my last video. What was fun about that is you always experience something different when you opened it. You know, whether you pull the Charizard or pull the other Shinies. And that was actually what made it so fun. I know at some point, probably by the time I'm through with that case of Elite Trainer Boxes, I'm going to be like, ugh, I'm so tired of looking at all these um, same four hollows, same full arts. Same obstagoons at some point, and that's probably going to get kind of draining over time. There's a code card. I don't know if I showed you the last one or not, but uh, we'll we'll try to alternate it. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to get annoying pulling the same cards over and over again, and then that's probably what's going to burn me out at some point. That's what happened to Burning Shadows. I love Burning Shadows. I pulled the Charizard out of that, which is cool. But I got so tired of, of you know seeing the same four cards, and then I just kind of gave up on the set. And that's ultimately what's going to happen on Champions Path one day as well. Why you want to bet these two back boxes have in the background the ones that have uh, a Charizard in it? I feel it. I feel it. Great Ball and an Altaria. Oh, let's put this over here. I showed you last code. I'm trying to remember while I'm rambling, so don't mind me. All right. We're almost done with this uh, second uh, batch over here. Maybe I should do, like, larger openings. You know what I'm thinking about doing sometimes is I stream on Twitch.tv slash RhymeStyle a lot. I should figure out a setup where I can just do live openings over there. That way I'm not just, like, flooding... You guys are the same mundane content all the time. And unless, of course, it is something you want to see. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Here's the uncommons in case you care. We'll see how I can figure that out as well. Because uh, right now, as it stands, the way I record my setup is... Um, I don't really use the camera for this view right here. This is my iPhone. And my webcam over here. So I got to figure out how to connect this onto OBS. Or just use a camera camera. Because I do have a camera camera. I just don't really ever use. Just because, for some reason, my editing software always freaks out whenever I try to combine my uh movie file for my webcam and my footage from the camera 
and it just super desync. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep it simple. Use a webcam like this, and then not not have to worry about it. Uh, and it's been working out. Looks pretty good as well. Ah, Obstagoon again. Here's a code. Bam. I think I might have gone a little bit too fast there, but guess what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna make you work for some of those codes. I'm gonna make you work for some of those codes. All right, we're down to the last. This uh, this box on the left was actually kind of butt cheek so far. I mean, to be fair, the box on the right only gave me what a Dural. Well, it gave me three hits technically. It gave me a uh, creamy Duraldon and Incineroar, but the one on the left, there's nothing in here. So far, there's nothing in here. Fighter energy. Wow. When you combine all the elements in the back, a Charizard will appear. That's what I tell myself. There's that. Actually, I think I was supposed to keep that one, but that's fine. Okay, let's get into the next one. Okay, last two packs. If I get at least just one good hit, even if it's a Rainbow Red, even if it's not the Charizard, I, I'm good. I'm happy. It doesn't have to be something crazy. It just has to, it just give, me, give me something nice, you know? You buy a box, and you want to get something good out of it. And if you don't, it's like, well, this kind of sucks. Um, like this! Gardevoir! Full Art! There we go! What does she do? 210 HP. It's just a V card. Magical shot, pretty weak. Uh, swung pulse. If this Pokemon was was healed during this turn, this attack does 80 more damage. That's actually kind of nice. So you can combine it with something like the um, Suspicious 10, for example, or just a potion. That's kind of cool. That's actually a really decent card. Now that I think about it. And then there's that again. I was supposed to save that one, wasn't I? Okay, let's go ahead and sleep up the guard of our. Let's see if we can get something else. I got the one hit that I wanted from from that batch, but if we can get one more, that'd be even better. So let's see if we can get that. Although I doubt that you can get a hyper rare and a full art in the same box. I think I kind of like already like used up all the luck for that box. Here we go. Ah, I actually got something. I got Cursola. This is actually a good card as well. The V cards in in, uh, in Sword and Shield in the Sword and Shield era of Pokemon are actually pretty overpowered in my opinion. They're so strong. And I feel like the reason why they did that is so you can get the, the Dynamax Pokemon out. But at the same time, I feel like with how powerful Dynamax is. It wouldn't have been that difficult and annoying to, you know, put out a regular Pokemon and evolve it all the way up and then go into VMAX and stuff like that. But then again, I don't actively play, so it's not my, you know, place to really talk about that. But I just feel like V cards in general and VMAXs are just really, really powerful. So, yeah. Okay, so that's one video. I'm going to go ahead and open up probably another set and see if we can get something else out of it. But so far, if you're enjoying the Champions Path openings, hit that thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.